Thank you, Eric Festa, for becoming my patron. And thank you to all my patrons. Hello, everyone. I'm Dennis Wang. Do you know that you could adjust your exposure setting directly on your printer like Sony Mini 4K, Sony Mighty 4K, Sony Mini 8K, and your Sony Mega 8K? And if you own a printer like this Creality Herald 1 here, you know that you could adjust your exposure in the printer. As a matter of fact, you can only adjust your exposure settings in the printer. And I am sure that most of you already know that Sonic Mighty 8K, you can adjust your print settings in the printer directly. And now let me show you how to adjust your exposure and some settings directly on your printer. Select the file that you want to print and then press pause and wait for the build plate to go all the way down and then move out and then stop. Now that print the printer is paused, click this gear icon and you could adjust the exposure here. On Sonic Mini 4K, we can change the bottom layers, the bottom exposure, normal layer exposure, the delay, and the light intensity here, the LED. And for Sonic Mighty 4K, it is the same step. Select the file you want to print, press pause, and then access here. On Sonic Mini 8K, the same step. Choose the file you want to print, pause, Wait for the build plate until it stops and then go here. You could change the bottom layers, the bottom exposure, the normal exposure. And then you could also adjust the rest time, rest time after leave, and rest time after retract. Go all the way back and this is all that we could change. On Sonic Mega 8K, the same, choose the file you want to print, pause, wait until the build plate stop, go here, and you could adjust the bottom layer, bottom exposure, normal exposure, the same with Sonic Mini 8K, rest time, rest time, rest time, and pay your attention to this LED percentage. This is the LED UV power. And I am aware that some of you have the issue of when your print is finished, it will print like some thin film that is not part of your object. So I would suggest that you adjust these 100% to 80% and it seems to fix my issue with the thin film because usually such thin film uh, created because your exposure is too high or your light intensity is too strong but i will do more tests about this led light intensity on sonic mega 8k to see if this really fix your thin film issue on sonic mega 8k And adjusting your exposure directly on your printer is really such a time saving because I'm in the middle of testing out new resin. I'm kind of lazy going back and forth from the computer slicer, change the exposure and then print again so I can just do it directly on the printer here. I'm testing a new resin for Sonic Mini 8K. You could see the difference. And this is the success print where I adjust it to much higher exposure. And I think you could also try it on other printer from another brand outside of Frozen. Maybe you could also adjust your exposure setting directly on the printer. So do you know that they have these hidden features let me know in the comment section do you like what you are watching so far kindly subscribe to my channel and if you want to support my channel directly you could check my pattern link in video description and thank you guys for watching see you in the next video